This will be interesting. Welcome to the video. This is day one of trying a vegan diet for 30 days from an athlete's perspective to see how it affects my performance. Enjoy. So I'm 21 years old. I'm currently around the 145 to 150 pound range. For context, I train for soccer intensely eight times a week in a team environment. On top of that, I do six body weight workouts a week on my own. So with all that and including my BMR, I probably burn upwards of 3000 calories a day which means I'll be needing to eat a lot of plant-based foods. Okay, first round of groceries is done. I got the fruits and veggies. I got the carbs, some healthy fats and proteins. And now it's time to start cooking. Final product looks good. I'm calling this the Mexican bean pasta. If you're wondering why I'm eating here, I'm not. I just came here for the good lighting to do a taste test. So hit that thumbs up button for the extra effort. But let's have a taste, see how it is. Mmm, tastes good too. I'm gonna head back to the table, finish this off. Just finish up the meal. It tasted great. I'm feeling good, energized, but this is only the start. So we'll see how the rest goes. So I'm feeling good so far. I would say some of the things that I've noticed already is that when I'm done eating a meal, I won't feel as tired both mentally and physically as I would have before. And then also my energy levels are more consistent throughout the day, whether it be before a training session or after. But we're still early on in the process, so let's see how this plays out over the next month. For the next 30 days, my meal structure is gonna be three main meals a day, plus three snacks, and then I'll also be taking supplements as a bonus. For the three main meals, it'll be something along the lines of this, teriyaki tofu, vegetables, rice just cook this up did some meal prepping so i saved time cooking and i'll mix up the carbs with potatoes pasta and i'll try beans lentils and a bunch of different plant-based foods for snacks i'll be doing something along the lines of this peanut butter banana whole wheat cracker or oatmeal or trail mix or something else just to get the healthy calories in for supplements i'll be taking creatine and plant-based protein powder I'll probably throw this in a shake or something like that. And then also a multivitamin daily, just to have a good balance of all the different vitamins. And it's got vitamin B12, so we're good there. Now I'm almost three days in, I will say meal prepping and just eating for performance has been a lot more time consuming, especially when you need to be eating a lot of calories. Just, you gotta do your research. You gotta know what you can mix and match to keep it interesting. And yeah, three main meals, three snacks, that's a lot of food. So it's just finding that balance, but I'm sure as the days go on, it'll become more easier. Performance wise, I haven't noticed a big difference during workouts and trainings, but I will say throughout the day, I just feel cleaner, healthier, less heavy, especially after eating a meal. Body's been feeling good, recovery's been going good as always. I know eating more plant-based foods has been shown to reduce inflammation and help with athletic performance. So we'll check back in after week one, two, and three and see how that goes. So I'm now 10 days into trying the vegan diet for the first time in my life. And to be honest, I don't feel that much different. Weekly recap, we just had training every day. I did my workouts. During the actual training, I just don't feel that much different. I will say though, recovery-wise, after trainings, at night, in between workouts, I feel good. I don't know if I feel less sore or better, but I definitely feel good. Now, the only downside of this week is I picked up a groin strain, but it's not really fair to associate that with a diet. Can't really associate any of this with a diet. It's just a personal qualitative observation, but it'll actually be interesting to see how recovery goes being on a plant-based diet. Besides that, things have been going pretty well. I just feel really healthy and clean with what I'm eating. I'd say the main struggle is just getting in a lot of different calories, but so far I've been doing it pretty well. Three big meals, three snacks, and then I just use protein powder and little supplements to help me out. Just picked up this one, gonna try it out, see how it is. But diet always comes first. We got 20 more days, let's see how it goes. I'm about halfway through the vegan challenge and I thought by now there'd be a noticeable difference but to be honest I've kind of been feeling the same for the last little while. I mean energy is definitely a plus, been feeling a little bit more energetic. On the field performance wise I've been doing good as always, have been feeling good and yeah I guess it's just a people I talked to said a week in they'd feel a lot different and I don't really feel that much different but uh, maybe that's a positive because it just 
um, goes to show that my diet beforehand was pretty stable and good um, but we're halfway through still got about two weeks to go and I mean the main things I've been eating so far is just rice uh, pasta maybe chickpeas lentils beans uh, tofu vegetables nuts and a lot of other healthy things so we're gonna keep at it see how it goes all right, so I've completed the 30 days of being on a vegan diet. Now, if you're watching this video right after it's being posted, you know of the current COVID-19 situation. It's a really difficult situation right now, globally and in the sports world. Over the last two or so weeks, they've completely suspended all games, trainings, and seasons pretty much everywhere, including mine. So over the last two weeks, I haven't really had trainings or games to go to, which sucks for this challenge because I haven't been able to see how my performance is affected by that. Instead, I've just been doing workouts at home, but uh, I still took a lot out of these 30 days. I want to be completely honest and say that I didn't notice any huge differences. It wasn't like I went on this diet and all of a sudden I became a lot faster or a lot stronger. But then again, you wouldn't necessarily expect that. What I will say is I did notice some small positive changes. Was it because of the diet? Again, I don't know but uh, it's something I picked up on in the last 30 days, so here they are. First thing, there's a couple of training sessions where towards the end of the training session where we'd be doing sprints or high intensity level of play, I wouldn't feel as heavy on my legs. And that also translated to the next day waking up, just feeling good and not as sore as I might usually be. This second one is the main positive I took away from doing this challenge, and it's that before training sessions, I'd feel more energized and I feel like I'd have more mental clarity going into the session and this was big for me because beforehand I'd be in the locker room sometimes and I'd just be feeling tired by the time the warm-up got going you get into the session but just beforehand I'd be feeling tired and over the last month now I've noticed that kind of change number three to add on to that last point over the last month now I've just been taking less naps especially after eating a meal I'm sure you guys can all relate to those meals where you just feel like a food coma and you're super tired after you want to take a nap or you just want to sit down and relax over the last month now I've barely had any of those moments. And finally, the last thing I took away is that I pretty much maintained the same weight over the last month. And I always used to think you need to eat a lot of meat to get your calories, to get your protein. And this challenge has shown me that that's not necessarily the case. You can still get a lot of great calories and protein from being on a plant-based diet and still have a good weight and physique. You just need to do your research with supplements, with food sources, and make sure you're doing the diet right. Earlier this month, I talked about a groin strain I'm dealing with that's almost at 100% so that's fine. I want to talk about two obstacles that stood out to me uh, throughout this month. The first one is being limited in certain social situations. There's this time where we played a game and then after the, the team got us all pizza and they didn't have a vegan option. So that kind of sucked. And then the second thing is that if you're living alone or doing meal prep, you'll find yourself eating the same meals a lot of the time. It can get repetitive, it can get boring. And uh, food is something that in a way you should also be looking forward to. So I definitely recommend if you are gonna try this challenge, mix up your meals, play around with a lot of different foods and keep it interesting for yourself. Personally, for me moving forward, I realized that I basically went from eating everything to strictly being on a plant-based diet. So what I wanna do now is kind of experiment with the middle. I'm gonna add eggs and fish to my diet, see how that goes. I maybe add more meat, maybe not. I don't know, I'll basically try different diets out, see what feels right for me and then go from there. If this is something you're thinking of trying out, I would say 110%, give it a go, see how you feel and then go from there. Obviously the 30 day challenge, it's motivating, there's some fun to it, but you don't necessarily have to go all out vegan. What you can do is just start out by increasing the amount of plant-based foods you eat and then see how your body reacts and see if it's something you wanna stick with because at the end of the day, we're all special and we're all gonna have a unique diet that works best for us. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. I'm super curious to hear if you've had experience with the vegan diet or if you haven't, is it something that you might consider in the future? Drop a comment down below let me know. Subscribe if you're new around here. Stay healthy and I'll see you soon. Peace.